dropping in. So the AT 160 it's running the Fox 38s providing 170 millimeter travel that's the factory edition with the Kashima and on the rear it's got the Fox X2 with 160 millimeter travel again with the Kashima the suspension luggage is Yeti's Sixfinity system which in my opinion has got to be one of the best rear suspension linkages for e-bikes on the market certainly up there in the top one or two In terms of geometry, the bike is really good. It's providing about 455 millimetres of reach in this medium. The head angle is about 64 in this configuration, which is just sort of perfect enduro. It's running on 29ers, and this means that the bike is just super fast. And I think that's the key thing about this bike. It is a really enduro, e enduro racing bike. Um, it's not for meandering around sort of standard trails, although you can do. This is about going as fast as you can or as fast as you dare down enduro trails. It's just set up and configured to be really, really agile. And the whole suspension setup is just set up to support you and give you confidence. In terms of wheels, these are the DT Swiss 1700s, both in the front and the rear. And in terms of the tyres, it's running Asa guys on the front and it's running DHR2 uh, Maxis on the, on the back. So plenty of grip on this bike. A couple of other wee component configurations. It's running the Axis dropper post, which is absolutely brilliant. It's also running Shimano XT uh, cassette and shifters which are really good and reliable The bike comes in stock with the Shuram Code RSC brakes. I've actually swapped them out for Gura and I just find the Maguras are giving me more stopping power. These are the MT7 Pros. But there's so many, everybody's got their own views of brakes and tyres and whatever. You've just got to decide what's right for you. Slightly loose there. Through the trees. Ooh. Ooh. Up. So obviously it's an e-bike. The e-bike system is a Shimano EP8. It is there. Shimano UT motor and it's got a 630 watt battery, uh, Shimano battery in the down tube. Standard EP8 control system here and with the screen here and the eco trail and boost on off button is here and the charging port is here and the Shimano system is given about 85 newton meters of torque power so it's comparable with 
uh, the Bosch system for example and the software and how it reacts are all slightly different and, and actually slightly tuned for different bikes as well. I'm finding it fine, it's reliable, you get the, the sort of rat, Shimano rattle when you're freewheeling down but other, otherwise absolutely fine and I get no rattle from the battery. Some of the Bosch bikes the battery can be a little bit rattly in the frame but in this, uh, the Shimano one is absolutely solid in there so the rattle you're getting is when you're freewheeling down. And in terms of the battery the battery is removable by putting in a 4mm hex here, quarter ton, and it pops out, a little latch, and it pops out there. So really easy to remove, charge off the bike, put it back in again, if that's what you want to do. <laughs> yeah. In terms of cost, I mean obviously this bike is right up there in the expensive side. Uh, you're going to pay well over 10,000 something euros sterling dollars for this bike at least. Is it worth it? It's really difficult to tell isn't it? It just depends on your view. Yeah, it is a very expensive bike, but it's for a particular purpose. If you're really into going fast, doing enduro, doing really techie, even down hilly types trails, this bike will be able to handle everything. So, epic bike, but comes with an epic price as well. Straight out. I've got to say the Yeti is so good on these slow trails and enduro trails and any trail really. Such a good bike, really brilliant rear suspension, great tracking. The bike geometry, everything about this bike is just really good. So overall that's the Yeti 160E. Quick, quick review, absolutely epic bike, great geometry, super fast, the enduro bike. The bike came out in 2022, it was one of the best bikes that year and I still think it's pretty much still up there in the top probably three to five bikes, the enduro bikes you can buy, especially if you're racing and you want to go super fast, this is an absolutely brilliant bike to get. Hope you enjoyed the review and have fun in the trails.